All right, good evening. Microphone test, one, two, three. How's everybody doing? Let's get a ride on. Shield down. Ooh, this is gonna suck. I don't have a, my pin system, lock pin system for my face shield, so just now already the face shield's fogging up. I currently have the chin screwed in on this helmet. I'll take it out later and test again. Thank you. Let's keep that open until we get moving. I'm gonna let this warm up just a minute. The choke on this bike. It's made pretty simple. You gotta reach in underneath the throttle body and click it on. But after it's been sitting for a minute warming up, all you actually gotta do is click your wrist forward and it shuts it off. Alright, here we go. Face shield open. We're gonna go for a nice ginger ride around the neighborhood. Maybe hit speeds for a minute. No, no, no. Getting chased by dogs. Going at speed. Face shield open. I'm gonna close the face shield now. I can already tell quite a bit of sound difference myself. I don't think the vent's gonna make much of a difference. So we're doing about 40 there. I need to lower my clutch lever, it sticks up a little too high. If I bring it down, I'll have a little better clutch control. Let's turn here. Turning. Let's go. Let's go. Take it down to the Ramona Expressway. Do a loop up to the line. I don't even have my license on me, son of a bitch. Third and fourth on this bike. They seem to really match. A little bit strange. And being a six-speed transmission, you'd think it'd be a little bit wider, but it doesn't really seem like it. It doesn't seem much more, much different than my WR, except you have to shift more. I know a lot of people change to the different, will change their sprockets. I don't remember offhand if they're going big or smaller. I believe it's mostly the dirt guys changing it for dirt. So lowering the gearing instead of rate, making it higher gear for the higher speeds. All right, so now we're doing 
cruising about 65 and you can hear my voice changing a little bit due to the vibrations these tires aren't balanced and I got a major fucking lisp right now it seems like maybe I've always had it it's a little bit harder to talk clear when you're Jesus, these bugs hurt. When your cheeks are being squished into your mouth. Oh, there's some cops up there. I wonder what's going on. I'm gonna go ahead and keep it to a nice little cruise. Six gear. Get back to you guys in just a minute. Gonna go see Scientology right now. Yeah, we just passed an early crash. I should have left the camera on. Looks like the car went into the ditch. There's no shoulder there. Again, cruising about uh, 55. So this is with the uh, visor closed. Go ahead and open up the visor. I'm sure the wind noise right now is probably tremendous. Probably about as tremendous as the bugs that are coming into my eyes. So I'm going to close this again. That's better. That's better. All right, I think I'm going to turn up here. Take out the chin pad. This guy's probably on his phone. Or the chin skirt, I should say. And make another lap down. All right, right here, this ain't a speed we'll hit often, but we're doing 80 right now. Pull on it a little more. Well, there's just short of 90, but we're turning right here, so we're going to slow down on the brakes, down shifting. All right. Let's see if there's not a spot I can pull over up here. All right, right here seems pretty good. Definitely noticed a difference inside the helmet. Air's not blowing around. Bugs aren't coming up and into my eyes. So I'm gonna pull this chin skirt out and then we'll uh, I'll get back to you in just a second. All right, we got the chin skirt out now. When I pulled it out, the microphone actually came loose, untaped. I was able to stick it right back down. So right now we got chin skirt, no visor down. Visor up, no chin skirt. I'm going to just drop visor here shortly as soon as we get rolling. Yeah, we'll see if I can trigger this light even. You get a magnet. All right, I think this guy turning left actually triggered the light. There we go. At speeds, 25, 30, visor down. All right, yeah. Had I not had a kind car pull up behind me, I probably would have had to run that light. I'm gonna go ahead and skip. I, I really wanna go over there right now. But uh, it's actually kinda boring. Might be neat. You know what, let's go. I haven't been there at night a long time. Church of Scientology, I mean, I'm not going to go ahead and preach about churches or not, but there are some weird cookies. We got spaceships, it's their filming center. Get a 
shit ton of bugs. So the bread, nice clean visor too. Sometimes we'll come out. I'll be heading to work up the hill early in the morning, 3, 3 30, 4, 5 o'clock. I don't know if you can see that little bit of glow right now, but they all have the old little valley right there. The whole hillside lit up. Like something special's happening. It's pretty crazy. Strange. But so am I. I've heard some stories. I haven't had any real encounters. Fucking bugs. But uh some people will uh try to go off-road and behind them get into their land and they'll actually come out with quads and I don't know some Enduros like an old KX or, or a KL XLK what are the Kawasaki's are and they'll chase them and they got small rifles on their back like an AR-15 of some sort or something like that I haven't seen it myself but I've heard some stories of course all the big name guys Tom Cruise John Travolta you know, it's supposedly they've all been out here. I don't know. It is him, but him it attracts some strange people. I recently ordered. Uh, well, it was really cheap. Bluetooth headsets for the helmet. It doesn't even really have a brand name, but it's the, uh, I think it's the BTS. Now I'll have to put a link in, or it'll be in the description or something like that. They're cheap. I mean, for the US model, because of the plug adapter, it's $39. Shipping takes a little while. I'm really curious how this is working out because I can feel a lot of wind coming up my chin. My goatee might help out though. The amount of bugs on my screen are ridiculous. Come on, Reuter. I can't see past you. There he goes. And there's lots of people. Alright, for those of you gamblers, you want to go to Saboba Casino, this is a route you take. Come down from the 10 freeway, turn here. We're not going to the casino though. I work too hard for my money. Most of the time. This little loop we're going to do is a loop I used to do on my mountain bike. I'd come into this little canyon right here. There's a car behind me, so we're going to keep cruising. And uh, I'd pedal out from the house. It was a nice little 14-mile loop. I'm getting fucked by bugs right now, right in the face. I mean, I've probably done four or five miles and I can't see, I almost can't see out this windscreen. All right, so here's the Church of Scientology. I've never seen people here except for right at the gate. It's a huge mansion, buildings, rooms, light up. It's actually kind of dark out here from what I remember last time I've been through. They have cameras and lights all over their fences in these bushes and stuff. You see the windows are all shaded out. It's their main little building that you never see anybody inside. I see the computer. People at the guard shack. More buildings that are never open windows. The overgrowth has taken over. It looks nice. I don't know what's going on in there though. See all kinds of lighting just all over the fence. There's supposedly up in the hill like a little sniper tower. There's 
pictures, satellite pictures of it. And there's like a triple wide, double wide trailer thing, like a school, temporary school trailer here that they punish people and lock them in for weeks or something like that, and it's pitch dark. It's really weird, like I said. And that's pretty much the end of it there. This is all their property. They built a big old fancy golf course right there in Clubhouse. Try to bring in people. I don't know, steal their lives. Yeah, there's a bunch of houses right here that they bought. Just, you know, basically condemned them, locked them up. Nobody lives in them now. Of course, you can't see them right now. I'm curious if you guys can even see out my fucking camera right now, all the bugs that are priced up to it. Golden Era Golf Course. That compounds their Golden Era Productions. That's where they make all their propaganda films. So yeah, if you never heard of the Church of Scientology, go ahead and Google it. It's, uh, it's kind of some weird stuff. L. Ron Hubbard is the creator of it. It's based off a book he wrote. He's a science fiction writer. He wrote a book called Calisthenics. And it's like a self-help, a better help book he wrote. And they've turned it into a religion based off of that book. He also, uh, he got, he had some bad tax issues and lived on the ocean for a while. He got a big old yacht. He lived off that because government couldn't come after him. And then he passed away. And there's recordings of him saying, you know, making statements how it's a big made-up thing. He just did it for tax write-offs. A lot, of, a lot of Hollywoods, there's some big Hollywood names sucked into it and stuff, and some have come out. Look it up, it's interesting. Strange stuff. I already downshifted, downshifted, I downshifted. Oh, solo mia, mamma mia. Oh, 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 oh that was a light turn. And I'm going the wrong way. Why did I turn there? My wife is probably wondering where I am. All right, guys. Well, I think that's going to conclude my microphone test. Get home, check out some of the footage. If it isn't complete shit or if I just didn't get any audio at all, I'm sure I won't post it. Or depending how gay it is, I got on some pretty crazy rants. Scientology is pretty interesting though. All right, anyways guys, thanks for checking in. This is Reverend Kevin and I'm out. Oh. Didn't just do that, did I?